<laughs> Welcome back. All righty, guys. Welcome back. The boys are ready, as you can see. They're keen as for this one. We've had a week off. We're, we're refreshed as all the NRL teams will be after this. And Jason's obviously joined us. It's good to see. Uh, that's his his photo. But first of all, I just want to do a bit of a thanks to the sponsors that jumped on board uh, recently. We've obviously got the Bill Doctor uh, helping all the residents and businesses save money out there with their all their power bills and utility accounts. So real big thank you to those guys for jumping on board. Please get in contact with them if you do want to help saving some money. Uh, we've also got uh, plumbing. Uh, so my mates down at Northeast Plumbing and uh, they're helping us out in Sydney. If you need a plumber in Sydney, very uh, reliable, very good plumber. So get in contact. But let's talk some footy and um, obviously had a week off and weapon of the week. Um, even though we had a week off, I... I don't know what's happened lately, but everyone loves it. All you fans are loving it and loving the content. And thank you heaps for the support we're getting. Um, Facebook and Instagram, um, everything's just growing rapidly at a rate that I didn't see coming. But uh, it's keeping very, very busy and on my toes. And the posts are getting better and better and a lot more interaction. So thanks heaps. Sid, I know you've been helping being part of especially Facebook. Um, what have you seen and got anything to say to, to the fans out there? Yeah, it's good, you know, from day one, we just, uh, we love talking footy, but uh, no point talking to ourselves, you know. Uh, yeah. For a while, we were doing video week in, week in out, and we only had, what, 11 subscribers. Uh, uh, got, got a fair bit now. Um, just reminding everyone, it is free. Uh, we'll never ask for your money. We're not interested in that. We just want to talk a bit of footy. Um, there'll be some more content coming in. We're going to, ver- uh, you know, we're going to change it up a bit, a bit of variation. We got approached by a couple of other pages as well. So making a little ripple, it's going to take a while. Three, three and a half K um, on Facebook, 800 on Instagram. Um, yeah, good stuff, guys. Uh, keep, keep it coming and um, we'll keep the contact real and, and no cliches. Yeah. Hang on a second. Oh, sorry. I thought Sid was wearing a uh, Sharks jersey for a second. <laughs> I thought... <clears throat> My bad, my bad. Well, Jace, well, you welcome. The... Yeah, you've cut in there, Jace, but welcome. What do you got to say? Um, you, you, but you've jumped on the bandwagon, I see you jumped on once you started to take off, obviously. So, no real. I feel hard like work. I jumped on and then it started to take off. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've had some wisdom. Uh, it's great to have you on board, but yeah, look, we're loving talking footy. That's Sid said, not here to take money, things like that. We want to just interact with the fans, which we all are. We know experts where there's some fans who love to talk footy so if you see us on the street stop us buy us a beer uh even though i don't drink beer but <laughs> do something and dane will hopefully crack a smile one day i know in most of these videos he hasn't cracked one once but um, don't do it dane Stay eventually yourself, he's actually blending in with the wall tonight he's going for the camouflage look which is pretty nice of him uh we don't have to see much of him so uh let's get going let's kick this off and uh, <laughs> Obviously, the first tackle. Um, interesting one. I thought about this, and it's, it's got to do with the, a bit about the second point as well, but is the rule changes um, changing the way the typical origin game is um, being played? And, Dane, I'll go to you first for this one so you can finally say something. It's been a few minutes, but... Oh, thanks, mate. Nah, that's all right. Um, you don't really care about the fans anyway. You're all about yourself, so... Um, <laughs> we'll go... Number one. <laughs> we'll go. What do you think, mate? What are you thinking about these new rules? Does it change origin for you? Yeah, I mean, I like the old style origin where there was, you know, a bit of biff and it got a bit rough and tumbly and, and what have you. But at the same time, I think we're getting a lot more footy on the field with the, the speed of the game and just keeping that, you know, the six to go and, um, you know, for infringements and so forth. So I kind of like it. It's, it's different to adapt to, but end of the day we can't change it anyway it's it's going forward that way so you just got to learn to to like it and maybe love it again but i miss the old style sort of footy with the with the origin it's just really you know who was going to take whose head off and who was going to punch whose lights out and yeah it's sort of like the highlights of you know paying hearts up against you know his old rivalry or, or whatever but you don't get any of that anymore which is disappointing but we're still getting some pretty good quality footy out of some you know elite athletes the best in the country so I'm yeah. kind of liking it. Yeah, it's, it's changed its avenue now, and um, it definitely has a bit more skill involved, and it's definitely quicker. Um, Sid, do you think there's still some room for the traditional 
uh, origin style of, of player um, or you think it's all changed now and you've got to adapt? Yeah, it's uh, 90% one way and 10% the other. Um, there's still room, but the, you know they're fast getting rid of it. Um, it's what they want it. They're getting it now. Um, turning into a game that's too quick for any sort of arm wrestle, if you like, um, and any. And, and it is good. I'm going to agree with the, Dane. The attack is definitely good. Um, the last-ditch defence is impressive. The only thing is when they come together, it's like watching WWE. You know nothing's going to happen. It's all crap. You just feel like, mm, just get on with it, mate. You're just hugging each other. Handbags at 10 paces. And that's the only thing. That's the cherry on top, which we'll never see again. Because God forbid, you know, a man's angry and throws a punch in anger and, you know, and they leave it on the field and they have a beer after like the old days. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, sorry, Vince McMahon. Uh, we're not paying out your product. Um, Sid really loves it. He, he tunes in every week to SmackDown and Raw. So um, don't come back and fire back at us. We're, we're good. Um, Jace, do you reckon it's... Um, do you reckon it's changing the way selections are made, though? Because I'm starting to see a bit more of the the sort of ad, agile forwards playing in props. And um, I think it's a good point that, that someone like Reese Walsh might be able to make it. He's a bit smaller, but it's the game suits that sort of player now. Um, are we seeing selections definitely change because of this? Yeah, definitely. Like um, like you said, it's it's... Play, teams are going for that more mobile pack nowadays. So you can almost have three locks on the field, like, you know, a, a genuine lock and then the other two playing prop pretty much. And uh, it, it's it's not necessarily about um, the, the complete, you know, hit the advantage line and, you know, make your gains there. It's more about uh, getting that little, you know, gap through using your footwork and getting that quick play the ball just to tie the defence out because, you know, if you just keep doing that, there's going to be six against coming constantly. Um, with Origin, uh, it was, yeah, it's a, it's a little disappointing seeing that it's changed, but like Dane said, um, it is, there's a lot more football being played now uh, in terms of um, the actual skill-wise and when it comes to Origin. Uh, but I, I think New South Wales nailed it on the head with their selections, more mobile, more agile pack, and uh, their backs getting in early and taking those runs. So uh, I'd love to see it go back to the old ways, but I doubt we're ever going to see that. Yeah, it's going to be... I don't think we'll ever get back to that, unfortunately. But um, it does bring us into sort of a good way to segue into the second point for mine. And I, I've sort of thought about this because of the Reese Walsh selection, and it's because that... I feel like these days it's sort of changed the way it's selection. So a lot more of the attacking base players are getting put in. And I reckon five years ago, someone like Reese Walsh would never have been thought about too small, um, would get smashed, would get bashed. Um, but now because he gets protected from that, there's no risk of any of that. Um, and if someone does hurt him, um, one of our four, uh, one of the Blues forwards will have to be either thin bin or send off because uh, they hit him too high. So it, it protects the skillful players. Um, we can, I think, these high scoring games are going to uh, continue. Uh, we'll continue to see 50, 60 points in an Origin game. Um, and about the Reese Walsh selection, a lot of lots been said. Um, obviously, Phil Gould is not happy with it, um, being from a Warriors point of view, but I don't know where else they could have gone with this because Reese Walsh, he's if you think about it, his fourth string fullback at the moment because they've got no Ponga, they've got no Brimson. Um, Valentine Holmes has been pushed back to the wing because he didn't do well uh, game one. Uh, so he's really the fourth choice. So is it, does that say more about the, the Queensland depth than it does them having to play Reese Walsh game? Who? You, Casper. <laughs> what is it, Danny? Um, yeah, look, I, I think Queensland are desperate. Obviously, you know, having him as four-string fullback. But at the same time, I think he's got that excitement factor about him. So you've got to have some fast players on the field to target those those big, you know, tied players. So, I, look, I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest. I mean, you go back, um, you know, 10 years ago and... Look at like Brad Fittler and, and some of these other players that made their debuts at 17 and 
now you can't even make your, your debut in the NRL until you're 18 unless you get a special exemption or, you know, you play for the Roosters. But <laughs> oh, I'm, all, I'm all for it. Look at Pappenhausen. You've got to have that small guy in the, in the team that, that can target, run those holes, acceleration, speed. I think he's going to go all right. Would you have picked him? Not this early. No. No. Okay. Would you have gone more the Valentine Holmes safe at the back and maybe just another one? Okay. Yeah. Sid, uh, what do you make of Reese Walsh? Is it desperate times for Queensland or you've got valid reasons why they, they should have picked him? The reasons why they picked him is he can pass. He can pick a pass short or long. Um, he's dynamic with the ball. Uh, Val- Valentine Holmes, he, he's good with the ball, but doesn't have a long pass. Um, Lockyer pretty much said that, so I got a straight from Lockyer. Um, on the in a breaking news, like, Sid's got Lockyer on speed dial. That's how good yeah. we are here at League of Inches. We've taken off. I actually get a, a exclusive uh, free subscription to the NRL app, and I watch inside the NRL and NRL teams every week on on the phone. You know, um, but um. Yeah, and Lockie have said pretty much that. He said the Reese Walsh can, can find find a player in the clear and give him an opportunity. And you know, guys like uh, Phil, can't remember who was inside him, um, but Phil didn't touch a ball in an attacking position the whole game. And obviously he's not the most dangerous player, but he is that it's the most dangerous if he can get the bloody ball and do something, you know. Um his debut was completely wasted on, on a Queensland perspective. Um, and that's what they're thinking. That it is desperate measures, but you're also right. So both your suggestions are spot on. They've got no one else, you know, as much as they bang on about Queensland, this, that, and that. They're running thin on troops. Would you have, would you have picked him? Yeah, given, the, given the injury situation, yes, I would, because I don't think Valentine's Holmes is there um, as a fullback, and they had to try something because they lost by 50, and they need to score points. All right, great. Jason, uh, man of wisdom, uh, man of honour, uh, a doggies fan that I don't want to mention too much because he's still a bit sour. They went MIA. That's why Josh isn't with us, by the way, guys. Um, still not happy with the dog spot. Um, but what do, you about, what do you make of Reese Walsh? Uh, well, I've, he's, he's had, what, six or seven games in in first grade and he, he looks he looks the part and he looks like he can he can handle it, but Origins a different beast altogether. Um, if this was ten years ago, I'd say no, I wouldn't have picked him, uh, just because the the physicality, of the game back then, or even twenty years ago, um, was would just it would wipe him off the park and it would shatter his confidence going back to club. But nowadays, with all these rules in and uh, protecting the the players, I, I think he's. I, I really hope that he plays well because I really like him as a player. Um, yeah, I, I, you ha- they have no choice. What, what, what do they have? Like, who, who are they going to pick? Mm. Like, it, they, their hand was forced with this, and um, I, I really hope he goes well. So you would have picked him, or would you have gone the safer option, I guess, with Val Holmes at fullback? Mate, like, to be honest with you, other than last year, like, the Queensland winning the series last year, other than that, New South Wales have been pretty damn dominant. Like, you, you got to try something, you know? So, yeah, I, I would have given him a crack. You know, what's one game? I, I think they do look more dangerous, so I probably would have picked him. I can understand where they are because with him, then I think, Val, as Sid says, I, I think Val Holmes is a winger and he's a better winger at this level uh, than he is fullback. And I think Reese Walsh is a better fullback than, than Val Holmes is. If Val was put on uh, fullback, he would have had probably Ronaldo Mulatalo would have had to make his debut. And I don't think he's... If you're asking who's ready for origin out of Mulatalo or Reese Walsh, I'm putting Reese Walsh in every day of the week. So um, I think that's the reason why they've ended up having to select him. And look, if Pong is fit for game three, I've got no doubt it, Reese Walsh probably won't play another game until Pong gets hurt again. But he might turn into a 14, depending on how Ben Hunt goes. Um what, if, what about this for a bolter, Joel? What if um, Billy Slater came out of retirement and didn't have to be Langer? I think guaranteed man of the match. Guaranteed man of the match, man of the series, um, captain, coach, fullback, hooker, uh, whatever you want. We'll have, probably have to ask Sid because we all know he loves a hooker, but um, we'll, we'll move on from that one. Um, third tackle. Um, we've only got a few tackles this week because it's an origin special and 
Uh, weakness for both sides. Obviously, we're talking about um, Queensland and New South Wales, but we've got to pick a weakness from each. Um, Dane, I'll start with you. Uh, I'll say Dane this time. Hopefully, I didn't get that mixed up. But um, what's a weakness that you can see from the Blues and then one for the Maroons? Uh, weakness for the Maroons coming off the back of a flogging from New South Wales. I think that's going to be in their head. Um, weakness for the Blues. I don't think they've got many weaknesses, to be honest. I just hope that they're they're not overconfident. Yeah. So yeah, I think if they just go in and they're just they're humble about the last win, they start fresh, just get in there and get the job done. So so I think it's a mental thing for both yeah. teams, to be honest. Blues have got to just keep thinking about game three last year, um, and last series basically. If they can't get motivation from that, they should not be playing state of origin. Sid, what are your um, predictions for this? What's your weakness for both sides? Oh, look, um, Queensland's got a lot of weaknesses, but uh, I'll pick um, our boy, uh, the hooker, Andrew McCulloch. They bang on about how many tackles he makes, um, but they don't, they're, not, they're not paying attention to the tackles. And, you know, I watch St. George every week, and the tackles he makes, he, if the attacker's going this way, he always ends up on his back. He's a spot player. That's why he's making so many tackles, because everyone's running at him. And, and his passing is very, very disappointing. For a veteran 10-year dummy half as well, um, it's here, there, and everywhere. Blokes are catching it here, they're catching it down there. It's not good enough. I mean, for a top-line uh, dummy half, you need to be at least 98 out of 100 perfect passes. And that's not an exaggeration. He's the weakness. The weakness for New South Wales, if Teddy does his trademark Teddy slide, gets himself knocked out, then we have, might have to reach out for out the back. And uh, Chavojevic goes to full back. And then we might uh, have a little issue with uh, covering that centre position. I'll tell you what, though. The weakness wouldn't be Turbo going back to fullback. I think <laughs> Queensland would rather him <laughs> rather him not do that. So <laughs> his form at the moment is ridiculous and we'll get to that. But um, Jace, what are your predictions for each side in terms of a weakness? Um, for Queensland, is did Cape Wall get picked at centre again? Yep. Yeah, I'm... I'm going to say Cape Wall. He's a good player, but he's just, he's not uh, mobile, not agile enough to fill that centre spot, especially against Turbo. Um, a weakness as well could be, I think it, it will be Reese Walsh. I'll try to exploit him. They'll just send air raids at him, put up bombs non-stop and just pepper him with it. Um, when it comes to the Blues, man, if, if this was last game, I would have said Tarek Sims, but after watching him play that last game, he did not miss a beat, and he, he did everything perfectly. So, man, I really don't see any weaknesses. Blues are pretty much at full strength. They've uh, Crichton back. They've, they've filled a few gaps there that, you know, that they were missing through injury. So, I, I really don't see any weaknesses, man, to be honest with you. Um, as you see, a spotlight go on. Sid, that was a bit spooky. But uh, I think the weakness for mine for the Blues would be the Suncorp factor, we've just seen Queensland time and time again come up with something special at Suncorp. And uh, as a Blues fan, it's the only reason I'm not 100% confident that, that we will win. There's just a little bit of doubt just because of that factor. For Queensland, I've just got to say their captain. Uh, their captain and, and the number seven in Daily Cherry Evans now. I have no doubt the bloke will never come on this channel ever because I've given it to him a few times in the past. But I'm going to let him let rip again because... Um, since Origin 1, I tried to watch him in Origin 1 and he was nowhere to be seen and he's supposed to be the captain and they will getting smashed. So there was no real stand-up, no leadership from him. Um, I've seen him the last few weeks while Manly's playing well uh, and he hasn't done much apart from follow up and, and basically score the try in the last few minutes against the Titans. The only other time I've seen him is where he's having constant arguments with the referees and um, I just don't feel like he's up to it. Um, I think Munster's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders for this series because DCE for mine just continues to go missing when there's big games and he doesn't have a turbo to Boyevich to, to help him by and, and get through. So um, I think that's a massive problem for the Maroons. I think they need better captaincy, better leadership um, and someone else to help out Munster. Um, DCE for mine isn't the man and I think you know, it's time for him to move on. And I would have probably thrown Sam Walker in um, I would have let him blooded him this year. It was a series that they could have said, yep, we'll just blood some players. And then Sam Walker for mine, it'll be Sam Walker versus Nathan Cleary for the next 10 years. And I, as a footy fan, I can't wait for that. Um, two of the 
best hookers, uh, best halfbacks we've seen for a long, long time. And probably since Joey, uh, I can't wait. Um, so what about the fourth tackle? Um, the Blues back line, a lot has been said about it. Um, is it the best of all time? That's the question I want to um, ask all you boys, which is a massive question. Um, but there's some absolute weapons in the in the back line and um, some of the most form plays in the comp for some time as well. Dane, best back line of all t- uh, in Blues history. What do you say? I reckon it's pretty close. Very, very close. And, I mean, you know, there's different style of footy being played now compared to back then. Uh, and just going backwards in general. Um, yeah, I just think they're more complete footballers. They're complete athletes. I'd have to say it's pretty close, man. Yeah, I like what you say there about the being a full, complete backline, which I agree with. They've got the general steering the ship in Cleary. You've got your stable fullback in Teddy. Um, he's a good leader as well. You've got, obviously, the form player, the comp in Turbo. Um, Latrell's in form and on fire as well. Toto does the hard yards. And Ado cars, your Ferrari at the back that's just waiting to get unleashed and you let They're just go. so fast. Yeah, it's like watching the F1. Um, I feel like I've switched channels and I've got the F1s on when he's running the ball. So, um, Jace, you've got a smug look on your face. I'll go to you first because the passionate New South Wales man with his jersey on will take a few minutes on this one, I'm sure. So, Jace, what do you Love smug that. look for? Mate, it's not a smug look. I was just thinking about it and... Uh, I think they've come pretty damn close to being the best backline ever. Like attacking wise, yes, I do think they're the best attacking backline we've ever had. Uh, defensive wise, man, it's hard to go past you know the, the era when we had Gaznier and Cooper, like two of the best defensive centers ever to play the game. Really, you know, and Minicello out the back, he he was very similar build to Teddy, same same style of play as well. Yeah, Joey Johns and Fitler in the halves, man. It's 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 hard, but I think it's best attacking, yes. Uh, but overall, I don't think they they are the best. Yeah, it, it's a hard one because as you said, you got that era, um, and Sid can probably talk about this era a bit more being the oldest of the group. You got the late eighties as well, where we had the Sterlo, Kenny, um, Eric Gross, uh, all those sorts of players as well. So. Sid, take it away. I know you can't wait to talk up these blues, and here's your chance. Uh, look, I, I like it. I like it. But last year I got excited and we had our heart broken. You know, all of us, pretty much all of us said clean sweep. And somehow Wayne Bennett did what he did. And, and you know, I read a few write-ups about it, how he turned their mentality around. He saved them. Ben, Bennett's not there anymore. But as far as this team itself... I'd like to see a clean sweep of three convincing wins and maybe another one next year, and then we can talk about the best ever. Um, yeah. As you all, all you guys rightly pointed out, there's some quality, quality, quality New South Wales. There were some stacked New South Wales teams um, in, in, you know, in recent years. Um, if you look at the noughties and, and way back even to the 90s and, and late 80s, wow, just I remember watching them and... and it was like an you know NBA All Stars game. It's probably the only thing close to to um, the state of origin, honestly, in world sport. We're just ma- ma- amazing teams, you know. Yeah, no, I, I got to agree there. But look, I think as you pointed out rightly, so it is early on, but there's a lot of potential because a lot of the, the other thing is they're all young still. They've still got a few years together. Um, they could make a big dynasty here and. Look out, what was it, eight in a row or seven in a row Queensland got? Mate, bring it on, Queenslanders, because I reckon we'll get to 10. Um, there's my bold prediction for the for the next 10 years. While we're still on air, we're probably going to Fox Sports by then. Um, the Blues are going to do a 10-year... <laughs> dogs, Queensland. Yeah, 10-year dynasty for the Blues. Um, look, prediction time, boys. This, this video has been fantastic. I love being back and talking to you, boys. It's just bad that Josh isn't here, but it's probably a good thing. He's probably still crying. Um, I want a winner for the men's game, winner for the women's tomorrow night. Uh, obviously, Friday night they're playing. Uh, can't wait to watch that one. Got your surgices and things like that. Um, margin Ooh. for the men's. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jess, there's just a murmur in the background. Um, and your men of the match as well for the game. So, Jace, I'll go to you first. Give us your, your bold predictions for this uh, women's, I think it's 
it's going to be New South Wales. I've had a look at their squad. This squad looks pretty pretty good. No one playing out of position. Queensland have a few playing out of position. Um, I think it's going to be a close one, though. Probably the Blues by, I'm going to say, eight. And um, I think probably Sturgis for, uh, for man of the match. I think she'll score a couple. Um Men's game, I think it's going to be Blues by, I reckon, 12. And uh, man of the match, it's I'm going to go Cleary. Yeah, yeah, nice. Dane, take it away. Uh, ladies, New South Wales by, I'm going to say 10. Sergis for honey of the match. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just drop into his DMs. <laughs> PM me. Um, Watch out, uh, man. The, for the men's, I'm going to say New South Wales. I hope they flog them again, like a convincing win. Um, because obviously I've got a perfect round riding on this, if everyone didn't know that already. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Um, eight and eight just needs origin. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say um, Tedesco, man of the match. I think he's going to have a big game. Yeah. And okay. they'll win by 12. Okay, nice, Sid. Um, I'll start. I'll start with the women's. Look, Thanks. here's a fun. Here's a fun fact regards to the girls. In the in the in the women's origin, um, none of them have lost a home game. It's out at Sun Co- Sunshine Coast Stadium. I think New South Wales will be the first one to win an away origin. Um, and I reckon I'm going to go the other centre. I reckon Isabel Kelly. I know mm-hmm. Sergis is a Dragons girl, and she's. She's a gun and she's everybody's sweetheart. She's a gun player, but Isabel Kelly, man, her technique is unbelievable. Um, she's, she's a little my bit second favorite. Sorry? <laughs> she's my second favorite. Second favorite, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit skinnier, and she, she gets between defenders and mate. Ah, oh, she's she's oh. gonna get some players. She'll get, she'll get players, mate. Breaking um, news, yeah. quickly breaking news before you keep going, yeah. Sid. Dane has got front row tickets to tomorrow night's Sunshine Coast Women's State of Origin. Yeah. So no way. See, see a guy in a white shirt, ladies, just avoid him at all Stalk, costs. Stalk <laughs> yeah, just avoid. <laughs> Barry might be out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about your men's? Yeah, yeah so my men's, um, I'll just, oh, I'm going to say, it. we're just going to put the cleaners for him again. Probably 40 or 50 again. And the man of the match, I'm not going to get creative. It's going to be Turbo again. He's just in white hot form. You saw it again over the weekend against Titans. He was in neutral in the first half. And in the second half, he went to second gear and he blew him off the park by himself. A hat he's trick. A freak. Uh, yeah, he's a freak. Um, oh, I'll go the women's. I'll go New South Wales. Um, look, I love Pen- Penaltani, I think her name is. Pelotani, Penaltani, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think she's she's great, really skillful player. Uh, I'll lock mm. her in for, me, for wom- women of the match, I should say, or woman of the match, whatever mm. you want to say. Um, men's, oh, sorry, and they'll win by 10. I'll lock in 10. Uh, New South Wales will get men's. Uh, I can see a pretty convincing win once again. We've just got too many form players. Um, who will just continue it on. Uh, I'd say Blues by 16. And I'm with JC. I think this is the game Nathan Cleary steps up and really steers the ship around nicely, really controlled performance while we've got our attacking spark. But he'll just keep a lid on things and kicking game will be superb, um, really lead New South Wales um, to a convincing win. Um, so, look, Queensland, sorry we didn't have much for you, much love, but... Good luck to Reese Walsh. Who really want hope the kid does play well, but not too well. Um, he'll have a DCE, you shit. Yeah, DCE. <laughs> just if you don't like us, send me a message. I'll meet you somewhere. Uh, we'll have a kind chat. Uh, we'll go from there. But boys, DC, I've got something for DCE. I would yep. say pull your pull your head in, but your neck's too long. Oh, there's some. Just look at this. There's some stuff getting in. This is origin. This is all I love it. Jace, hey, Joel, give us something. If DCE does. If DCE does uh, message you, mate, let me know because I want to be there to record him vlogging you. Yeah, all right. Thanks, mate. Um, Didn't know you were still on the video. Actually, it's good that your internet's finally working and we can understand you. (laughs) Here we go. And you're you're bright. We can actually see what you look like for once. This is fantastic. 
I've seen I've seen you throwing punches against that uh, padding on the pole, mate. It's DC's got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, look, look, guys. Before this goes completely off the the rails, we'll we'll end it here and go the Blues. Can't wait. Origin two Sunday. Um, enjoy the video. Thanks for the support. We love it. Um, it's just getting better and better, and we're going to get better and better. Um, Jace will probably get kicked off by the next one, so he can probably say goodbye in a post. Um, watch his page and Casper good to have you on again and Sid go the blues good to see you've got some expensive beer for once not drinking cat piss um and and thanks fans thank you again <laughs>